In this video, I'm going to show how to fabricate a water temperature sensor that will be located on the outside of the submarine. This particular design features a copper probe that acts as a conduit between the water and the semiconductor located within the PVC housing. The semiconductor I'm going to use is an LM34 manufactured by Texas Instruments. This small, low-power device produces output in degrees Fahrenheit and is a metal can package which will react to temperature changes more quickly than a plastic composite package would. Notice that this semiconductor package has a lip or flange around the circumference of the metal can that will be helpful when I attach the copper probe that will be in direct contact with the water. The three legs coming out of the semiconductor are the electrical connections for power, ground, and output signal. The output signal for this device is analog. This is an illustration from the device's data sheet showing the orientation of the electrical connections. The physical connections are very simple and will be connected to a microprocessor which will read the output signal from the device and display the water temperature. Here are the major parts of this sensor project. On the left is a 10 foot length of USB cable which will carry power to the device and return the temperature signal. I chose USB because the outside sheath is tightly coupled to the wires minimizing air between those wires and any compression issues caused by water pressure on the cable. This is the LM34 temperature sensor with a copper probe already soldered to it. And the housing is just two PVC caps one inch in diameter. The hole in the cap is where the copper probe will come out. The PVC housing will encapsulate and seal the LM34 device and electrical connections from the underwater environment. Here's the LM34 device and copper probe in more detail. The copper probe acts as a conduit between the water, which we want to measure, and the LM34 device, which we want to protect from the water, along with its electrical connections. The probe is fabricated from a length of number 12 solid copper wire and then carefully soldered directly onto the LM34 device. The electrical connections for the temperature sensing device require cutting off the ends of the USB cable and exposing the wires within it. The USB cable has four internal wires and a metal ground shield. The red wire will carry 12 volts DC, the black wire will be used for ground, and the green wire will be used to carry the signal from the temperature device back to the microprocessor. The white wire and metal shield will not be used and can be trimmed away. Here you can see that I've trimmed away the white wire and the metal shield and soldered the red black and green wires to their respective legs on the LM34 device. I've also added some electrical tape on two of the legs to isolate them from each other and prevent a short circuit. Now the LM34 sensor is ready to be placed inside the protective half inch PVC shell. Note the hole drilled into the PVC cap is the same size as the copper probe. I've also already glued the PVC pipe into the cap and let it cure. I simply push the copper probe through the PVC cap from the inside and then position it a little bit so that the sensor connections and cable are as centrally located as possible. The next step is to fill the pipe with epoxy to prevent water pressure at depth from cracking or imploding the PVC shell. For this sensor, I'm just going to use 5-minute epoxy that you can purchase from any good hardware store. Once it dries hard, this sensor will be impervious to pressure or water infiltration. Here's the sensor after filling the PVC pipe and cap with epoxy. The LM34 copper probe, electrical connections, and cable are all hermetically sealed now, and the PVC pipe impervious to any failure due to water pressure. This could be installed on the submarine right now as is, but for aesthetic purposes, I'm going to glue another PVC cap onto the cable end of the sensor housing. I've glued the cable end cap onto the PVC pipe, and here's the finished product. The copper probe makes a very efficient conduit to transfer temperature changes to the LM34 sensor inside the PVC housing, and the housing itself is very inexpensive but durable way to protect the temperature sensor. You'll note I've drilled a couple of holes into the rear PVC cap. This is to allow water to enter the void within that cap that's not filled with epoxy.